Um, yes, and now to refer some of, to refer to um, these pieces of work in relation to some of the points that uh, I've been making. Um, they they use um, energy. They use the natural energy in the universe, and um, this is a very visible form of energy because it is light. And um, these pieces of work um, essentially inhale light and then exhale light in a continuous movement. And I I'm hoping, in effect, that the, the contemplation of these pieces of work may give rise to a sense of each individual entering into a deeper connection uh, with, with the universe, a deeper connection with nature. And so that, because one can, in effect, have experiences in which one almost uh, loses the sense of having, uh, having of, of there being an external world and an interior life. One can enter into an experience in which there is a sort of a, a union, a fusion. I can remember um, just uh, about uh, a month or so ago, um, standing in the street just outside this building, and um, all around me was um, teeming humanity, um, uh, a, lot of, a lot of traffic, a lot of noise and uh, activity going on. But I felt within the center of my being this very, very deep uh, inner peace which uh, radiated out into the universe. And it was very real. And at a certain level, it was, it was more real in effect than the, the visible experiences that were going on around me. So um, considering these pieces of work, the, they are very simple. And um, this, this is also really an important point because um, I feel that it's uh, significant that one should um, try to consider one's own qualities and characteristics of a human being. And uh, I'm very much drawn towards uh, individuals who, uh, in whom one, for example, finds a measure of um, purity, innocence, and simplicity, which, of course, is not judgmental. But there is also um, a, a basic opposition going on in, in, in these pieces of work between uh, light and, and geometry. And uh, Aeschylus was once asked the question, um, he was once asked to uh, describe dust, and he described dust as being mud's thirsty sister. And the, the beautiful opposition that he set up in that uh, definition gives a very strong definition of the nature of dust. So by using a, a, a square, very geometric form in opposition to light, I'm really trying to heighten um, the experience of uh, light in these, uh, in, these, uh, pieces of, uh, in these pieces of work. 